Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Chinese Zodiac and Horoscopes. Today we're going to be doing a prediction overview on the Dragon. And uh, obviously we are moving into the Year of the Wood Dragon. So we're going to presume that the Year for the Dragon is going to be relatively good for those that were born in the Year of the Dragon. Now let's not forget that... Dragon years are, off, are often abundant, they have uh, fortune, there's growth, success, positivity, prosperity, wisdom, there's fulfillment. Um, the, the dragon is a very successful sign. So the year of the dragon is going to obviously project that in some ways. However, that's not going to be the case for everybody. It is certainly going to be that way for the dragon in many elements. Now this is going to be a very exciting year for dragons and they're going to be wanting to rush and move quickly and they are going to work a lot on impulse here. Dragons, slow down. Slow down, relax. This is your year. You don't need to be rushing around. Fortune and abundance is now coming. It's your year. Um, it's a great time of year for you in relationships. If you're in a relationship, it's going to be a good year. There's going to be some stuff that you may have to discuss and bring up, but it's a good year for communication. If there's mutual effort there, it's going to be good. You're going to be able to maintain a relationship, cooperate, stay humble, work together. It's all about communication here. And single dragons, don't worry, because there is going to be a lot of good fortune while getting a partner this year. You're going to meet a lot of love interests. There's going to be blind dates. There's going to be new connections. There's going to be opportunities for love and romance. It's going to be an abundance. So don't worry about that, single dragons. There's a high energy and attractiveness right now for the dragon because it's a dragon year. So dragons are going to be able to find it relatively easy. Or they may just, you know, find it happening where they're igniting new passions and a zeal for love and romance. They'll find a spark again. But it is also, again, essential to grab those right opportunities and to stay positive, to make the best of this wonderful time. Because it's not going to last forever, it's temporary. So make the most of it. And most importantly, enjoy it. This is going to be a great year for growth for dragons. It really will. It's going to be a great time and there's going to be loads of opportunities to innovate, invent, create new things, take calculated risks to achieve new heights. There's going to be a powerful energy and positivity that the dragon year is just going to bring for dragon people. It's going to help those dragon people to grow, to excel, to discover new things. There's going to be chances for investments and growth and overall... A very lucky and successful year for the dragon. It's time for them to try new things. It's time for them to follow their passions. It's time for them to turn to hobbies. It's time to turn those hobbies into maybe professions to achieve things that you may not have been able to achieve before. It's a time for you to take these calculated risks, to follow those passions and to create wonders in life and to obviously influence people around you because that's what dragons do. The dragon, the dragon is a sign of fortune and the dragon year is going to be no different. It's going to bring positivity. There's going to be energy and abundance of all of these, uh, of all of these um, vibrations that are going to create and manifest. It's going to be, it's going to be a time of new roles, higher responsibility. Your job is going to prove more fruitful and favourable. It is honestly going to be a great year for you dragon people. Overall, to sum up, it is going to be a great year for dragons with enormous opportunities for growth and success for both professionals and entrepreneurs when it comes to business, when it comes to starting up businesses, when it comes to just basically moving forward professionally. It is again going to be a great year. So love and career is going to be a great time for you. It really, really is. So relax. It's already yours and it is of an abundance. So there's no need to panic. There's going to be a great opportunity here to start influencing people and to and to start inspiring people and motivating people. If you are a dragon, the people around you are going to see how well you're doing. It is a great time to start looking at where your money is and investing tactically. Start trading. Start looking at where you can develop more growth financially because this is going to be a great year for that. 
this is going to be a fantastic year to put your money into places where you are going to reap the benefits of that and get profits back from that. This is this is a great opportunity as though as well for those that are in industries like entertainment, media, fashion. You're likely to prosper. Expect large flow of finances and and your investments coming through this year. If you are a dragon person in this year, romantically, financially, socially, all of these elements, they are going to be great for you. But don't get overexcited. Remain humble. Do not let it get to your head. Do not go over the top with it. It's going to be very easy for you to start acting on impulse, get carried away with the positive vibes, start thinking nothing can go wrong and basically fly too high. But don't forget what goes up must come down and the higher you are, the harder you're going to fall. So just bear this in mind, my dragon friends. The one place that dragons may suffer uh, from in uh, this year will be from their health because you're going to be so busy. You're going to be so energetic. You're going to be so fiery that you're going to burn out many times this year. So you really do need to concentrate on your health. And that means sleep. Okay, sleep. You need to sleep more, get as much sleep as you can, take time to relax because you don't need to overdo it. You don't need to go over the top. You don't need to try so hard because this is your year. Take a step back, chill out, relax, breathe. Because if you don't, you will crash and burn and you might not get back up. This is a great financial year, career year and love year. These things are going to take their toll. All of this is working long hours. It's finding time to go on dates or work on the relationship you're already in. It's, it's a time for putting in that extra mile at the job that you are in. It's about, it's about trying to juggle everything now and not drop the balls. So just take your time and make sure you're not rushing into anything that is going to get you into trouble or have consequences in the long term. This year is not going to last forever. So just remember that. And with that in mind, just remember as well that as it is a good year for your love interests and and building those relationships up, Just remember that you are going to have to take these into the years to come. So if you are jumping into relationships, if you are starting to date, if you are meeting people, try to consider the compatibilities and don't get carried away. Dragons are very capable of falling very deeply in love and creating very deep connections. But we we have to acknowledge that although this will be different for many other dragons, the quicker you do that, the less time you spend getting to know that person. Don't make attachments this year that you're not prepared to take into the years to come, especially you mature uh, dragons. The more mature dragons, make sure that the connections you make this year are meaningful because it is a very good year for love. It's it's the the same and as well as that with finances. Make sure what you're investing and putting in this year, you are able to sustain and stay consistent with so that when you go into the next year, it's not going to be a struggle because the next year may be completely different. So just prepare yourselves for this. All in all, for dragon people, it's going to be a year of prosperity, luck, fortune and a whole element of fantastic things to look forward to as long as you are not too hasty. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and give us a like. We're going to be doing some card readings for the dragon people in the next couple of weeks, as I am with all the other uh, Zodiac signs. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. If there is anything you'd like to know, if there are any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. For now, I'll leave that with you and I'll catch up with you tomorrow when we look at the horoscope and the predictions for the snake. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.